Hey guys, welcome to another summer racing episode project. Well, it's no, it's no longer ice. My wife says it's been nine months that we've been, yeah. we've been working on that bumper, and the what bumper is not there. Let, let me show you the bumper. So this is the bumper. Show you your side. Yeah, with your directions. So this is the bumper. This is this is the side I did. This is still soft and has been sitting this here for what two weeks now. Yeah, two weeks. So not enough hardener. Courtesy of Luke over here. Oh, because it dries too fast. Okay. You this mix side. Hardeners. You don't mix hardeners. We... I mixed the, the amount you told me to mix. Anyways, guys, never mind the bumper. Never mind the bumper. Painted this part black because it, it showed through the grill. So because it used to be white. Anyways, we're doing camber bolts on all four. And we have done the rear, that's done. I'm gonna explain how we did it. We're also cleaning out, uh, well, look at this. Brakes are rusty, this car has been sitting for months. Anyways, we have an issue with camber bolts. Okay guys, so the one on the right is the original Subaru front camber bolt. It goes on the top hole of the knuckle. As you can see, it's got a bulge, like a camshaft, I guess. And this is, 16 point let's call it three 16.3 millimeters and this is tight inside the knuckle right as you can see this one this is a 14 mil bolt and this guy is 14 yeah, well, 14. what half a millimeter less 14 okay so 14 so we're missing half no 2.3 or uh, 2.3 Millimeters. Millimeters. Mm -hmm. Another problem is that this is the bolt itself is skinnier, so it travels back and forth on the actual strut, right? That's how you get your camber. You uh, after you install this, you want to push in the knuckle, the top side, and that will give you more angle, more negative camber. But that creates a problem, and it happened to me years and years ago on the STI. I installed these on the front, and these guys let go on me and moved out. So gave me positive camber because of the cornering, right? Aggressive cornering. Because, you know, there's there's still play inside. Not with these. This is so much thicker. So this the thickness of this bolt holds, you know, you have like maybe, let's say, a difference of half a millimeter play with this one to probably four millimeters of, of play, right? Three, four, four. Yeah, three, four, okay? So... But don't don't forget that 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 tab. On oh the, yeah, on this that wa on that washer when you're installing, it's supposed to be. You want to go to the strut? Oh, we have a strut. We can bring yeah, strut. bring the strut here. So these it's install. Like SCI, but doesn't matter, right? Yeah. So these install like that, right? Looking at the knuckle. You stand stand it up. Oh, oh shit! Grab it. So you install this tab to the towards you. So this will create a little bit of will give you less play right and this guy well this is a modified one i'm going to talk about it in a sec oh yeah never mind this is the I, I, yeah i won't be able to fit that one in wrong side this is a oh no it's not never mind um and the other washer goes on this side. So this, these bolts are good because they have two washers on both sides, right? And then the nut goes on here. Look at the play. That's what I'm talking about, right? Because of the less... But we don't have that hmm? much play on the, on the, on the strut. Th that's what I was referring to. The tab takes, takes out some yeah. of the play. It, it's not... Yeah, if I move the tab downwards so it doesn't you know, affect anything, I have we get more play but that's not enough this still may may move okay another problem kind of missed it put that one in in the inside forget the washer okay. for now so this is the that's the Subaru, aftermarket su Subaru, Subaru, Subaru Naco and aftermarket bolt and with the what is it? the can the low, lo lobe it's not it, enough it's in, smaller than original yeah, right the neg it, negative the most negative position you will have still play, you can push the knuckle yeah. inside and that's why we modified the bolt so to avoid knuckle going back and forth. What we're trying to say is, 
to get the actual what's advertised on these cam bolts, uh, was it one negative one point seven five? Yeah, plus plus na plus plus minus one point seven five. I think that's what they're yeah. advertising them. To, but you still gotta push it in, right? To get that one point seven five, let's say for example. But if you're just pushing in, there's nothing holding it, holding it. Uh, to for it to come out again, do negative or a positive camber because you, are if, under hard cornering, right? Because if you if you think about that ball being inside the bore of the the knuckle, the the top bore, the top bore basically to get 1.7 will be resting on this part of the bolt, and this lobe will be touching nothing. This right. lobe, right. so you have that extra play about whatever that is, you know, quarter of an inch or wherever. No, probably less. And in, in hard cornering, you know, if this is the, 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 the board, it will move on you and it will give you yeah. positive, positive uh, camber. So, so Rob I, actually modified. Yeah. So I, we took a measurement, we took a measure, because this part, this lobe fits nicely. It's snug in the knuckle, right? So we want to take this measurement and basically weld extra metal on this lobe and grind it down so you get this measurement right so you can still fit it into the knuckle and this is what came up came out to be like that and this is actually exactly so you can measure it it's actually a little bit tighter 16.2 actually you are a little bit less than the original no but no, that's fine. no 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 you, i think you have to oh here, zero it okay. always zero it before you so what original one right here so original is 16.35 modified is 16.48 yeah, it depends where you 16.39 yeah you Six, almost there 16.4 yeah yeah point, point zero something two whatever thicker right but check this out i mean you know if we, if we push it in it goes in right that's the whole point but there's no play at all you, you, yeah you, you can't play play it and then lobe is where uh maybe yeah, lobe is here that will be the most negative okay position so now it's tight so but there's still play there's still play because the bolt is thinner than the original bolt even there's still a tiny bit of play on the original bolt uh, i suppose maybe just so you can get the bolt in and out but we plan to do uh, more modifications and maybe weld a little bit more metal on this tab so when it goes in it will move the washer it so, will take so, up that slack right exa exactly so so your bowl will be resting on this part here and then this part right here yeah you know instead of being like an oval this way it will be all just smaller oval like an eclipsed thing all right guys so i didn't really record any of this we've been working on this I don't know, three hours for now doing other stuff too. Uh, obviously, we got autocross tomorrow, always, you know, at the last minute, right? <laughs> always. Yep. Like, you know, we had months to finish all this. And, oh. Anyways, we got to clean out the brakes, the, the rotors, because it's been sitting for uh, months and it's everything's rusty. I barely actually made it out uh, because everything, the brakes were rusted in, seized. So we're going to finish this up and uh, we're going to see you with the car down, see what kind of negative camber we have actually obtained. Yeah, try, to, try to guess, put it in comments. Yeah, so uh, I do have actually, I did some measuring uh, before I did anything. I think you have to elaborate on that a lot. Yeah, so but the floor, this. Ex you know, I got to say that the floor is not nowhere near level. So this is a, I guess, you know look at it with a with a squinted eye okay so originally su supposedly we had negative 0.4 of negative camber 0.4 on the front but and tell about them, tell them the car sitting on the wheels right that's what yeah on, on wheels on wheels uh and then about i would say maybe negative 0.8 i'm guessing right here because i have a negative 0.5 on the rear right and negative 1.5 on the rear left but i know for a fact that that's part of the floor rear left is kind of dipped because you can see there you know my fall is cracked a little bit in that part so you know anyways so kind of 
you know, meet in the middle, I'm guessing negative 0 0.8 camber on the rear, okay? I'm gonna, once we get it down, we're gonna drive it, get it on the same, you know, spot and do the same measurements I have done before we even started working on this. All right, see you in a few. Guys, check it out. Our just insanely beautiful bumper. And then check out this camber. I don't know if you're gonna see it on the camera, but we do have some negative cambridge. I mean, you, you uh, let's see, let's see from this angle. Can you see? I guess kind of, I don't know. But we do have at least two degrees would you say two degrees in the front? Look. Two and a half. We had a two and a half. Yeah. What we already had. Yeah. So we're probably over two degrees on er everywhere. I would say. So, good news. You know, you know, if you've been following this, you know the story behind this. This is an auction car. We still didn't register it. We've been trying for since January. It's amazing. We how still got a paint. How long do we have this car for? Almost a year now, maybe. No, less. Over a year. I think no. I bought it. Yeah, I bought it last year, like uh, July or August. I don't know. Anyways, we still got to paint the bumper, obviously. Then we're going to give it to um, a friend of ours to actually get it uh, past inspection. And then we can actually, excuse the noise, get it registered. And then we will do whatever the hell we want with it, including more modifications for the to the camber bolts. And we will, we will see tomorrow if they will actually move out or not. And that's, that's probably it, guys. See you next time, most likely, at the autocross. Later.